boom, 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 happy birthday to you. It's your day, boom, 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 happy birthday to you. It's your day, boom, 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 here at my house we'd like to say boom, 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 happy birthday on your special day and many more. Ace of Peak, you know you the love of my life. Don't tell any of them, but you're my favorite. My life would not be the same without you. I'm thankful for you every single second. I love you, Asa. My dad is one of the most amazing people I've ever known. He's so kind, so funny, and so loving to everyone he meets. I love you so much and I hope your 50th is awesome. Good morning. This is Christina Stover and I live in Wimberley, Texas, but I used to live in Rome, Georgia, where I had the privilege of knowing one of the most amazing human beings that I've ever had the chance of knowing. His name is Dr. Asa Peak. So we um, were, I had two older kids. I have two older kids um, at the time in 2000 and five they were nine and six which are the ages of dr peak's two older kids i found out i was pregnant with baby number three and we were at the specialist in atlanta and really found out that our sweet baby girl was not going to make it she had a lot of birth defects uh, just a couple of trisomy issues that we didn't know about until we were i was about 20 weeks pregnant so the specialist really wanted us to abort um, our baby just knowing that she probably wasn't going to live. If she did live, it wouldn't be um, a really great way of life to live. But we chose to give her life. We prayed for a miracle. And through that journey, Dr. Peak, we found Dr. Peak, and he walked through that with us. He helped educate us and just supported our decision to give um, our sweet baby girl, Avery, life. So in, in that journey, Dr. Peak's third child was born days before he delivered Avery and so he just had a special place in his heart for our sweet baby girl Avery. She was born as stillborn but Dr. Peak and his nurses did an amazing job at making her get cleaned up and put her in her dress and let us hold her and love on her and a couple about 20 minutes after Avery was born we were asking for him and just wanting to talked through some things with him and the nurses couldn't find him and one of the nurses came in and said they had found found Dr. Peak in a custodial closet and he was just weeping just because just of all of the emotions he had had with us for about seven months and just the compassion that he has for people is overwhelming so I knew at that moment I had already fallen in love with him but I knew at that moment that his job on earth was to deliver babies and love on people. He was in his element. That is what he was born to do. We ended up um, about a year later getting pregnant with baby number four and Dr. Pete got to walk through a journey with a healthy baby with us, a sweet baby boy. Um, but it was such an amazing experience with the loss and the of, of one baby and then getting to rejoice with us with the birth of a healthy baby. So I'm sending this video as a shout out, man. He is one of the most amazing human beings and his compassion and his ability to love on people right where they are is unbelievable and it will ever be etched on the Stover tribe's heart and my heart. Um, I love you, Dr. Peak. Happy birthday. And we share the same birthday. Happy birthday. Great people were born in November. Um, I love you. I'm so proud of who you are. And just thank you for being the man that you were created to be and being in this journey of um, Avery and Cody with us. Blessings. Happy, happy 50th birthday to you, Asa Peak. You are so deserving of a magnificent, wonderful, beyond all words kind of birthday, period. Um, I appreciate who you are. I appreciate all that we have been through. I appreciate 
what great children we have and the continued friendship that we share that is just deeper than deep. Um, I'm wishing you the very best birthday and the very best year. I just want to wish you a very, very happy 50th birthday. I just can't believe you're 50 years old. That makes me 49. How could that be? I love you and I appreciate everything you do for all of us. I love you very much and wish you again. Happy, happy birthday. Mwah! Love you. Happy birthday, Asa. Happy birthday to one of my favorite people in the whole world. I love you so much. And I'm so glad that we are a practically family even though we don't see each other anymore. And I hope you have a marvelous year. I don't know how old you are, but whatever year this is, happy, happy birthday. And um, I'm sending you all my love, all the love from all the gardens. And I am thrilled to see that you are thriving and happy and the beautiful man you are always, you always were. So happy birthday. Cheers to you, baby. Hey, to Dr. Peak. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Hard to believe that it's been 14 years since Julie drove me to your office and um, I found out I was pregnant with Seth. I just hope that the Lord blesses you with many more happy birthdays and you deserve them. Have a blessed day. birthday Asa the big 5-0 uh, you're one of the best doctors around funniest guys I've ever met and absolutely the best dancer I've ever seen hope you have a fabulous birthday cheers from everybody here at C in Cedartown and at Darlington bye hi my name is Kimberly Mosley and I've known Asa Peak since we were in middle school together it's a long time I could say a whole lot of things about him but um, what I know is that he's a great friend, he's got a huge heart, he's really very thoughtful and considerate, has so much empathy, he's hilarious, and he's been a great friend to me and to a lot of people for many, many years. But he's more than just a friend to me. When I, after I got married and moved back to Rome, he became my doctor, and he walked me through some really difficult times before I got pregnant. And then once I got pregnant, he took amazing care of both me and my baby Blair. Um, because of my advanced maternal age, he sent me to Atlanta for some specialists, or to some specialists. And they determined that my baby, or they thought my baby had some uh, heart issues, and so I had to treat with them in, in Atlanta during my pregnancy, and the plan was to deliver there because it was a little more complicated. Um, but as we went along, they just decided that his heart was actually okay. And so they discharged us from their care, and then a week later, Blair decided to come into this world seven weeks early, and he, uh, I went to labor on a Friday, and Asa was there, and don't even think he was on call, but he was, uh, stayed with me and delivered Blair at nine o'clock that night, and because of everything that we have been through, and, you know, I was treating with him as well on the way, he wanted to make sure that everything was actually okay with Blair, and so he was smart enough to have, um, our pediatric cardiologist, Josh Donner, there, um, on the night that he was delivered. And when he was delivered, he was in distress, and he ended up, did he did have a, a lot of heart issues, different than what they thought. But thankfully, um, Asa was smart enough to have Josh there, and Josh was able to start treating him immediately and then get, a, get us back to Atlanta where Blair needed to be, and so he could get the care he needed. So Asa's an amazing doctor, too. He's smart. Uh, like I said, he's very thoughtful. Um, he has um, he's just got a great bedside manner. Um, and he's just a, an amazing doctor and he loves what he does and he loves the babies that he delivers and he loves the mamas and um, I'm lucky to call him my friend I'm even luckier to call him my doctor and um, I hope he has a, an amazing birthday and I love you Asa happy birthday peak I sure do love you I can't believe we are 50 years old I'm right behind you. December 23rd, I turned 5 -0. Have so many wonderful, wonderful memories with you, your family, mom and dad, all your siblings. 
and have the most respect for you. And I love you so much. Happy birthday, friend. Bye. Happy birthday, Asa! We just wanted to say thank you for delivering these girls, keeping them safe, and of course, taking care of Ken during the delivery. Hope you have a great birthday. See you soon. Bye. 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 Happy birthday, Asa! Happy 50th birthday. Welcome to the club. It's really not that bad. Um, we're looking forward to having somebody with some personality and they can sing and dance. <laughs> I'm two years off from that club. Carolyn and I are not there yet, but I just want to wish you a happy birthday and we've got you a box of linen coolers. Linen coolers. Enjoy in your honor, Asa. Lots of memories. We could go on and on, <laughs> but we wish you a happy birthday. We love you. Happy we 50th. Yeah, we love you. Hope you have a good day. Bye. Bye. My dad is the most generous and giving person I have ever met. Um, he is the first one to do everything he can to help out somebody else without asking anything or expecting anything in return. Um, he gets his joy in life out of helping others and that's evident in his career and his personal life and the love that he has for other people just shines through him and we all love him so much and we are wishing him a happy 50th birthday love you hello asa happy ha birthday from cedar town happy birthday we love you we love you you're a fantastic fella you make us laugh and an okay brother oh great Brother, we, perfect brother-in-law. We hope to see you soon. Great provider, awesome person. Love you much. We'll see you at Thanksgiving. Adios. Happy birthday. Au revoir. Welcome to 50s. Ciao. Happy birthday, Asa. I love you. Hope this is a great day. 50 years is a major milestone. You've lived half your life, more than half your life. It's all downhill from here. Hi, Asa. We're thinking of you on your birthday. We're sending you our best wishes. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Asa. We, we love, love you. I mean, whose terrible idea was this, Caroline, to get all of us old people on video? Hey, Asa. Love you. Happy birthday. I am so glad you're catching up with the rest of us, and I hope you have the best day and the best year ever. Happy birthday. Bye-bye. I love and admire my dad because he's taught me that just because you go through hard times doesn't mean that you can't recover and find passion for things like work and friends and especially family. And I just consider myself really, really lucky to have a father like him. No. Ace, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I love you and I miss you. Come to Cedar Town. Ace P. Happy birthday. Happy 50th birthday from somebody who loves you very much. Your mother and Muthasa. <laughs> You're the most loving, caring, compassionate person I have ever known in my whole life. And you've been like that since the, you were born and started toddling around. You loved on people, you loved who they are, what they were doing, you babysat everybody in the world. And um, you're just a very kind person. And I think that's wonderful. I admire you very much. I have, um, I'm very thankful that Jesus has your heart. He holds it in his heart. And because of that, your responses to that are trust and thankfulness. So because you're able to do that, to trust him and thank him in all things, you sense his presence in a way that most people do not. So I'm very, very thankful about that. And 
and I'm thankful that you love what you do and the people with whom you work. It's a very special thing. Uh, there, I said before, people, you meet a thousand, thousand, thousand people in your lifetime, but only very few of them sparkle. And you sparkle. And it's a wonderful thing to be around because you're witty and entertaining and you just love what you do. And you make others happier and you make others feel needed and you uh, you just they're happier you make people happy and that's a wonderful thing and I love you baby hey Asa happy 50th birthday I'm so excited I hope today is full of just well wishes and gratitude for you um, as you hit a milestone birthday. I, I want to tell you I'm very proud to be your sister and I appreciate your love and your compassion for people unconditionally. I uh, appreciate your good advice and counsel for, for me specifically through some pretty difficult times. Um, but I'm also super proud of you for, for your courage and um, just bravery to stand up and, and be who you are and live your life um, exactly who you are. And I want you to know that I love you unconditionally and I think you're amazing. Um, you're almost as cool as me, but not quite. Um, anyway, I hope you have a great day. I love you. I can't wait to see you soon. And happy birthday.